Um, you know, uh, uh, I, I wrote about a parasitic uh, wasp that sort of turns cockroaches into zombies, and I would find that in like video game discussion forums. Wow. Someone would be like, you know, we got to make a game out of this, man. <laughs> <laughs> but then they go back and they like find out about animal behavior and things like that. And you know, I mean, and and uh, amazingly enough, I have been able to. to uh, I have been interviewed by tattoo magazines, and I have been talking to them about science. So there are people reading tattoo fan magazines who are getting a little bit of science because they're looking at these tattoo scientists that tell a story about science, and like, you know, and I kind of lure them in and you know have links to, and you know maybe they're going to be pulled in. The push strategy and the pull strategy. Blogs, science sites, science seg segment of the newspaper. Those are pull sites, but only. Uh, pulling people who are already interested. You have to push. You push in places where the audience is already there and they can't escape. For that, <laughs> and for that the best are TV and radio because uh, most people are getting their whatever news and entertainment on TV and radio either because they're commuting for hours to their work and so they listen to Limbo or hopefully to PRI or NPR which have excellent science programs which actually have a lot of extensions on the web that are always telling us this more this video of that duck stuff on <laughs> our site. Uh, so you can go and see, so when you get home you can actually go online and TV, uh, which is uh, atrocious about science usually. And you know, uh, everybody knows the story, and I don't know if Pete Binfield is in here, I hope he's not. Uh, I have to mention the word uh, Ida. Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, I have the shirt on me. Yeah, this is Ida. Okay, this is Ida. Uh, I bought this shirt as soon as the paper came out, and the whole hullabaloo went. I think the scientists did not uh, act strongly enough uh, to in the negotiating with the media. But what they did is they went on all the media they could possibly get on TV. And so I walk around Chapel Hill with this shirt, and people stop me, or the waitress in the restaurant. <coughs> oh, I've seen that. I say, can you tell me something about it? Well, it's a neat fossil. Can you tell me anything more? Well, is it a primate? That's about where it ends. They, they never heard. They, nobody repeated to me the phrase "missing link" or "catarines" or whatever Latin names were were, were involved. But they saw a neat science story and they thought science was cool because it was this cool fossil. That's all they got, any and every one of them. But they saw it because it was massively on TV. So that's one way to just get people who are not going to get the details. And we, if we disagree with the details, we are going, getting all in a frenzy. But they just call, saw a cool fossil on TV. And that's pretty much as much as you can get with a lot of people. But it's much better than nothing. I think that's a nice thought to end the session on. Um, <laughs> I, yeah, you have used up the rest of the time. <laughs>